going to start with something called the National Anthem. And the National Anthem is going to be performed by our Mini Knights Marching Band. Can you give them a quick round of applause? That is something that honors our country, the United States of America. And it's important that we show respect as citizens of our country by, in just a moment, standing up, placing your hands on your heart, and of course, our lips are closed. Yeah, they're closed. They're zipped. So, Leo, are we ready? Yeah. Go ahead and stand up, place your hand on your heart. United States of America. Citizen is a fancy word for people, okay, or per, a person. So I want you to think about this quote. Every good citizen adds to the strength of a nation. So that means every good person adds to the strength of our community. Can you think of a way that a friend or somebody has done something that helps your classroom or your school become stronger or better, a happier place to be. What has somebody done for you? We can have a teacher offer an example first. Any teachers that might want to share an example of a way that you have seen somebody add to the goodness of our school. So my class has been learning about self-control and I have seen people really working to have self-control. 
so they stay safe. Yes, that's great. So in pre-K, they're really working on self-control. And they're able to focus on how their behavior, their movement, and their bodies is a part of the safety in their classroom. Do you think that makes their classroom a better place to be? Yeah. yeah. Do you think it makes our, our school a safer place to be? Yeah. Yes. All right, kids, can you come up with a way that maybe somebody no. around you has done something that makes your class or your school a better place? No. Yes, if somebody is sad or upset, you can help them out. Does that add to the strength and the goodness in your classroom and your community? Yeah. It sure does. All right, let's do one more. Let's go. Mrs. Western, you want to pick somebody back there? I see a couple hands. So if you're stuck on something at school, she gave an example, if you are stuck on math and you're having a hard time, a friend can help you out. Is that a good way to help? Add to the strength of your community? Yes, you can help at any time, and that makes your group of people better and stronger and happier. All right, so. Something that was bad. So Harwin was scribbling over my cats when we were playing outside, but then, um, I made him a cat, blue cat that he could slip on. That's so nice. So you made something for a friend to help them when they wanted something. Good. All right. So go ahead and put your hands down. You all, as pre-K, kindergarten, first, second, third, and all of the older kids, fourth, fifth, and sixth, have been doing something every day. You've been bringing in maybe a little bag of something that jingles. And it might be silver or copper color. And you're bringing it in and you're putting it into a jug and then you're taking the jug. Where's our jug? I think it's, oh, yep, over by, give away. <laughs> and then you're taking that jug into the cafeteria and you're putting it into big, even bigger just hands. That is coming together as citizens to make your community stronger. You are working together to help bring money to a group of people who need it. You're supporting the Cure Childhood Cancer Organization. So kids who are feeling sick and they can't come to school because they have to go to the doctor, they have to go to the hospital, they have to do that, but this organization helps to give them fun things to do while they have to do the not so fun thing. You're being good citizen and showing good citizenship by helping donate your coins to that. So Mrs. Wilson's going to show us how much has already been collected for the Wolcott Street School, your side of the school. You ready? It looks pretty heavy with your question. It is very heavy. So first I want to say thank you to all of you for being so generous and bringing in your coins and there's even some dollar bills in here. You guys are doing a wonderful job. Um, third grade and first grade, actually. Oh boy, oh, uh, you've already filled one full bucket. So you're gonna see, which is pretty amazing. Let's give them a round of applause, go ahead. So you're going to notice when you go into the cafeteria, it might say second bucket on it. You might be thinking, what happened to all of our coins? Once they're filled, we're going to tuck them away safely and put another bucket out for you so you can just keep going. You are all doing an amazing job, so keep at it. I think we totaled up, well we've been totaling four through six because they're doing a different competition. But with their money, plus all of your money, we are over $1,000 already. Give yourself a round of applause. So keep the, keep 
them coming, and you said what two grade levels are in the lead right now? Third grade's in the lead, but first grade is very close behind them. And remember, we have prizes for the grade levels who collect the most. All right? Well, thank you for being good citizens. Now comes the point where we get to recognize and celebrate all of our friends in the classrooms who are nominated for responsibility. Today we're going to start with second grade. So Mrs. Oberacker is going to come up to share and announce our second graders who have been nominated for showing responsibility. Think about the ways that they our role models and think about if you do that too. All right, good morning everybody. So today we're going to start out with a student who was nominated by Mrs. Hammond from Mrs. Graham's class. This student is a responsible second grader. This student navigates their own schedule. They remember when they need to leave the room for related services. During independent time, the student keeps themselves on task and picks up all of the materials before rotating centers. This student helps their peers and adults remember what they should be doing. So congratulations to Donnie Hilton. Keep up the great work. The next student is also from Mrs. Graham's class and is not here today. This is Evelyn Whitcop. Evelyn was chosen by her classmates as someone who shows responsibility each day in the classroom. She always takes care of her things and picks up after herself. Evelyn is a hard worker and always does her best work. Thank you, Evelyn, for being a responsible role model in our classroom. The next student is from my classroom. This student always does their best work. This student will add extra details to their writing, check for capital letters and punctuation, and use their neatest handwriting. This student knows classroom expectation and meets them without complaint. This student is a role model of responsibility. Congratulations, Olivia D'Angelo. Okay, uh, the next student is also not here today, and that is Elena Chamberlain from Miss Dunn's class. Elena is very responsible. Miss Dunn can always count on her to do the right thing, even when no one is watching. She knows that Elena will be there to help guide her friends to also do the right thing. Elena makes Miss Dunn so proud every day as she is a positive role model for others. The next student is from Mrs. Cantabine's class. This student is an excellent example of a responsible student. This student shows up each day prepared and ready to learn. This student works hard, completes assignments, and fulfills any responsibilities they have in the classroom. Mrs. Cantabine knows she can always count on this student to do the right thing. Great job, Seth Prisbel. And our last second grade student for today is from Miss Merrill's class. This student is a very responsible student. This student always is doing the right thing even when no one is watching. They don't expect to be rewarded for helping to clean up the classroom or for memory, remembering to bring library books in on time. This student just does what is expected because it is the right thing to do. Congratulations, Paisley Gross. Okay, let's go. Second grade round of applause. All right, we're going to go in.
Nope, and I won't keep them. Yeah. Okay, let's go with pre-kindergarten. Come on up. Everybody give Mrs. Twatty Rotten a wave. Okay, the first student is from Mrs. Nichols' class. As the year has gone on, this student has worked hard to become more and more responsible. She listens to directions and follows them. She stays on task during centers and gets her work done. She does what's right even when the friends who are around her may choose not to do so. Congratulations to Elizabeth Jandick. And the next student is from my class. This student shows responsibility each day when taking care of his health. He has extra responsibilities to make sure his body is healthy and ready to learn. He takes this job seriously. He visits with Mrs. Doty when needed and never complains about his added responsibilities. We're proud of you to Joey Jazzco. Mrs. Hyde, you can get your picture taken, okay? Thank you. Mixing it all up? Third grade. We have Mrs. Patnode. Everybody give Mrs. Patnode a wave. We're waving at you. <laughs> all right, good morning, everybody. We're going to start with Miss Bianco's class. This student does the right thing even when no one is looking. She does her best work, always. She never complains about anything she has to do. Way to go, Lila Dunn. is a great example of responsibility. She always strives to do her best work and follow school and classroom rules without needing reminders. In addition, she has a positive attitude no matter what she is asked to do. If she makes a mistake, she doesn't blame others, but takes responsibility for her actions. I appreciate the wonderful responsibility role model that Riley Mangiafrida is for our classroom. Next, we've got Mrs. Western's class. This student demonstrates being responsible each day, all day. She always works hard on her assignments. Um, the student makes sure that she is listening to both adults and peers inside and outside the classroom. She always does the responsible thing. Congratulations, Linnea Coleman. This student shows responsibility by consistently doing their homework and classwork and handing it in on time. This student has all of their supplies ready and organized so they can get to work right away. They are a very good worker and always does quality work. Congratulations, Harper Alexander. responsibility in the classroom. They always take their time to write very neatly and make sure to complete their work thoroughly and carefully. This student does not rush even when others finish ahead of them. 
Congratulations, Trenton Alford. which will help you with our final performance of the day from the Mini Nights Marching Band. It has to do with clapping. So I want you to listen first. Okay, you ready? Wait, wait, hold, there you go. Good, listen again. I think they'll be ready for your song later. Oh, wait, 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 sorry, not yet. Hold on, we have two more great songs. We're just doing a quick little break, sorry. Sorry, not yet, you guys get to sit back and relax. Okay, let's have first grade. Our announcer, Mrs. Hayes, is going to come on up. Everybody, give a good morning wave to Miss Hayes. Okay, good morning. Our first person is from Mrs. Coleman's class. This person is a very responsible boy. It's his first year at Wilcott Street School and he has been a great addition to our classroom and our school. He is a rule follower and is responsible with any, with any task given. He can be trusted to run errands and walk the hallways by making good choices even when no one is watching. He makes safe and responsible choices in the classroom, on the playground, in the hallways, at lunch, and during specials. Thank you for setting a good example for those around you. Keep up the good job. William Payne. from Mrs. Spink's class. This person knows what it takes to be a responsible first grader. This person has been doing extra work inside and outside of school to improve reading and writing. This person comes to school prepared every day, cleans up her area in the cafeteria and classroom. She does her best work every day and is a perfect model for responsibility. We are proud of her, Kristen Dorf. The next person is from Mrs. Grossman's classroom. This person has shown great growth in the area of responsibility in first grade. He has demonstrated responsibility for his own learning in the classroom by making choices that help him stay on task, engaged, and focused throughout his learning day. Adam Pavlock, congratulations. The next person it was nominated from our class by Mrs. Miller. This person can always be counted on to be responsible for all the things. She keeps her desk nice and organized and takes care of all her things. And it is Riley Ann Mills. Congratulations, <laughs> Riley. from Mrs. Majira's room. This person shows great responsibility every day in first grade. She shows responsibility with her own materials and classroom materials when she cleans up after herself from centers, lunch, or playtime. 
This person tries her best when faced with a challenge and shows that she is responsible for her own learning when she is focused and participating in activities. This is Jane Whiting. And the last one is someone from Mrs. Miller's class, nominated by myself. Oh, this, boys and girls. this person shows a lot of responsibility at school. She takes care of her things and the classroom. She's a great helper in the cafeteria and is responsible in getting her work done and can be counted on to follow directions. This is Anieli. quiet voices that shows that you care about your friends so zip those lips cool whip all right okay. mrs. Olivani everybody give her away for Kay by the way boys and girls thanks so much for celebrating with us for letter Y day yeehaw I see all those cowboys and cowgirls out there you guys look great all right, for our Character Ed Award, starting with Miss Back's class. Uh, this student takes great care of the things she has in school, as well as being a responsible learner even when she makes mistakes. She always takes responsibility for her actions and helps others make good choices. Congratulations to Kenley Mills. <laughs> is from Mrs. Carly's class. This student works very hard to be a responsible student. He helps keeps our, keep our classroom clean and tidy by picking up things without being asked. He tries his best each day and always gets his work done. He can be trusted to do the right thing even when no one is looking. He follows the rules and takes turns when playing games with his friends. We can always count on him to make a friend in need, to help a friend in need, excuse me. Great job, Elliot. Elliot Morrison. Congratulations, Elliot. There you go. Okay, our next kindergarten student is from Mrs. Triptauser's class. This student strives to be a responsible friend and classmate. This student is always willing to help friends when cleaning up. This student is grading it, great at putting materials back in their proper place during workplaces and playtime, often without being asked. This keeps our classroom neat and tidy. This student also encourages his friends to make good choices so they can be responsible too. too. Way to go, Grayson. Grayson Nichols. Now from Mrs. Engler's class. This student is a role model for responsibility. She always tries her best and works really hard. She shows responsibility at center time by doing what is expected, even when others may not be doing their best work. She is helpful to friends and she follows the rules. She is always respectful during whole class lessons. She shows great responsibility for her actions. I am pleased to dominate Desiree for this award. Desiree Houston. And 
this is all about me class. Here we go. This student shows responsibility by taking care of her own school supplies and classroom items. I can count on this student to help with the classroom cleanup each day. She is dependable and will help out with classroom activities when needed. Way to go, Maddie! Maddie Gambo! Okay, round of applause for kindergarten. <laughs> all right, thank you for listening to all of those amazing ways that our students show responsibility. Are we ready for our final song? Yeah. All right. Time.